Hey everyone, it's Tiffany. Okay, so today I am 30 weeks pregnant. Can't believe it, I only have 10 more weeks left until my due date and 6 more weeks until I'm full term. Um, 36 weeks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 6 weeks until I'm full term. So I'm so excited, I can't believe it. I'll have, it seems long when you say um, 70 days left, <laughs> but it seems short when I say like 10 more weeks, so I'm, I'd like to say 10 more weeks left. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited, as you guys all know. I know, I know you guys are all excited too. Um, and not much has happened this week, but I'll just let you guys know what has been happened. Sorry, this might be a short video, I don't know. Um, I got my glucose um, screening result, test results back, and the good news is I do not have gestational diabetes, thank the Lord. Um, but um, when I, she did call me, the doctor, the nurse called me, um, she said that my hemoglobin is low, so um, I have to take iron pills called Tangen, I think that's the name of it. I haven't gotten them yet. Um, my prescription is, is being filled now. So I have to take iron pills, um, which doesn't make sense to me because um, I take the prenatal vitamins, you know, every day. Um, I don't miss a day. I, I always take the, the prenatal vitamins. And there's iron in them. But, I mean, I guess there's not, maybe there's not enough iron in, in the pills. So, uh, I don't know. It's really weird because I'm... Um, maybe, I guess it's just a pregnancy thing because my iron has never been low in my life, so uh, maybe Jaden is just taking, sucking the iron from me and I don't have enough, so um, yeah, so she's putting me on those and she's also giving me another um, prenatal vitamin um, prescription, so I guess um, I won't be taking the ones that I have, I'll be taking the ones that she's going to prescribe me, so that and iron pills, so um, yeah, she just said it was a little low, it wasn't, wasn't like too much of a concern, so well, yeah. Um, next thing, I have been feeling so much more movement from him. It's crazy. And I've, I failed him before, but now he's, like, extremely active. Like, uh, I don't know, it's crazy. Mainly he does it at nighttime, like when I'm laying down and I'm about to go to sleep. And he does it a lot after I eat. Um... Yeah, so after I eat, and a lot at nighttime, and a little bit in the, in the morning. And it's crazy, because when I look at my stomach, it looks like there's the alien in my stomach just trying to get out. And I felt, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 75% sure that I felt his elbow um, the other morning. Because I just, I just felt like a little, like, go like this on your elbow. <laughs> That's what I felt on my stomach. And it was just like a little tiny ball. So I, I'm pretty sure it was like an elbow, and I feel like he was like doing this kind of thing or something, stretching <laughs> in my stomach. Um, so I don't know, it was really, really crazy. And um, I'm pretty sure that he's still head up, um, breached, because when I still use check his heartbeat, I feel, I feel it up high. I can hear it up high when it should be lower. And then um, when I do it, I can feel, when I try to find it down low, I feel kicks, and I'm pretty sure those are feet and not hands. So, and like I said, his, I could feel like his arms and stuff up here, but I'm still not, I'm not worried about it. I'm okay. I know I still have time for him to turn. And even if he doesn't, it's okay. You guys all pray for me. Even if, if I do have to have a C-section, you know, he's got to come out one way or the other, 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 or the other. Um, I know I'm probably going to cry the day if, um, my doctor does say that I have to have a C-section, but it's okay. I'll get over it. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Leave it in the Lord's hands. Um, let's see. Um, I have been re having really bad back pains after work. Like when I work, I, I think I already told you guys that, but it's still happening. And I tried to avoid the waddle because, you know, I, I don't know if that causes back pain or whatever, but it's, I don't, it's not really good posture. But I do waddle sometimes because, I don't know, I just can't help it. So, uh, I don't know. Only a couple more months that I have to deal with it. Um, and I still have been having Braxton Hicks contractions. The other day, I had a really strong one. And, like, I really, I just had to sit there and close my eyes and till it was over. And it lasted a, kind of a long time. And that was the only one. It didn't, it wasn't, like, you know, actual labor pains or anything like that. But I don't know. That was crazy. And um, the labor and delivery nurse slash teacher, whatever, for the classes I'm taking, she says, she says um, drink a lot of water and, um, you know, it'll avoid pre-labor preterm labor and um, I don't know if she said it avoids contractions or not but if she said that 
it, she lied because I've been drink, I still drink that big jug of water every single day, like two of those, and I still have contraction. I mean, Braxton Hicks. So, yeah, um, I don't think the water's helping to avoid those. Those still are. I guess are gonna happen. Uh, so my baby shower is on this Sunday, so you guys should see footage of that, and um, and I'll tell you guys about that in my next next week, 31 week video. Um, lately I've been kind of moody and emotional, uh, like things make me sad. Like if you guys follow me on Twitter, I, I was telling you guys a story about the girl in the post office that told her baby to shut up or would have shut the H up and stuff like that. I'm like, really crazy. Follow, look, go on my Twitter if you want to hear about that. But anyways, I like wanted to cry that day and then I got angry. I just, I don't know, I'm just really emotional and just thinking about things. I, I get really... I get really emotional about stuff so uh, and I've been really moody and I try not to blame it on my pregnancy but I think it, it does have a lot to do with my pregnancy but I am really moody um, like things were making me mad and I was just thinking in my head to me just don't flip out just go to sleep and everything will be okay so um, I am moody which kind of sucks but I try not to be take it out on people I try to just keep to myself and get I just get really quiet um, Another thing, he's moving a lot right now because I just ate. It's really, oh, it's crazy. I should, um, sorry, he's like go going crazy in there. I don't know what he's doing. Um, okay, so one of my subscribers sent me um, a gift to my P.O. Box. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants her name on here, but I'll say her YouTube name, which is Yoki Lee. And I just want to say thank you so much, girl. I know I messaged you and said thank you. But it was really touching. Like, you're so, you're so sweet. Like, I can't, I can't thank you enough for these things that you got me. So, then I'm going to show you guys. Look at how adorable this little onesie is. Like, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? It's so cute. This one. And she got this one. Look. I showed TJ and he was like, oh, he's going to be a sailor. <laughs> and this one. I love baby clothes. Uh oh. This one, she's white. And this one. Look at the little butt. <laughs> I love it. And then she also sent me a card, which I'm not going to read because that's, you know, personal. Two cards, actually. And she also sent me a MAC lip gloss from their new um, collection. I don't, it's like Surf's Up or something like that, I forget what it's called. And she got me this um, lip gloss, lip gloss, and this one's called Good Lovin'. It's like the perfect color for my skin, like I love this color. I can't believe, like, you know, she got this, like, perfect, like, I would have I picked this out. So she did a really, really good job. I want to thank you girls so, so much. I know I thank you, but seriously, I cannot thank you enough. So, um, I did not ask for this stuff. She just did it out of the kindness of her heart. You know, she's, that's just really, really sweet. Seriously. Um, so if you are interested in sending Jane in something or me something or a card or, you know, it doesn't have to be, have to be like, you know, something. It just, be, it could just be a card. Um, my PO box is in the link, in the description box below, or you can find it on my channel. Um, I think that's it for this week. I don't really have anything else exciting to say to you. I don't think I do. So with all that said, I'll show you guys my tummy. This is my tummy with my dress on from the front. Oh, excuse me. And this is it from the side. And this is it from this side. And I put my Scooby-Doo shorts on. <laughs> this is it with nothing on. Not nothing on, but you know, bare skin. And the front, and the side, and last week I was 38, and this week, I mean, I was thinking, I think I was 38 and a half or something, and this week I am, let me get this thing to straight, whew, 39. And now this this could possibly be off because I did just eat, but 39, yep. Yeah. But yeah, this is my tummy, so I'll see you guys next week in my 31 week update video. Okay, love you.
Bye.